What's up guys, you're here because you want to know which iPhone 15 has the best value and whether you should upgrade or not. So I'm going to show you the options and share with you who I think could upgrade and which iPhone they should upgrade to. And it may not be the one that you expect. Let's get into it. Okay, so starting with the 15 versus the 15 plus, this is a super easy decision. Really what we're looking at here is a 0.06 inches bigger display. We've also got six hours of a longer battery life, and then it's like 30 grams heavier. If you really want more battery and you really want a bigger screen, awesome, spend an extra hundred bucks, but the better buy would be the 15 in my opinion. That's a pretty easy one. Now we're gonna move on to the 15 Pro versus the 15 Pro Max. This is really interesting. So we got the 0.06 inches bigger display display as well. We've also got the six hours longer battery life, which is to be expected. It is a bigger phone. And then it's also 34 grams heavier. As for the cameras, the biggest option is that five times optical zoom. So if you need two times more than the pro and you really want to zoom in, great. I don't know if this is going to be worth an extra $200. So if you really want that, great. But again, the 15 Pro would be the better purchase. Now diving into the iPhone 15 versus the 15 Pro. We see that the display size is the exact same. We also have ProMotion on the Pro, which is really cool, I think. And then we have the always on display. That's not worth the upgrade. I never use it. I don't know anyone that does use it. If you do, great. It is gonna drain your battery life. Then we have titanium, which is cool sounding, but it's just the frame. So it's not gonna make a huge difference. Don't upgrade just for that. It does have thinner bezels. I'm kind of a sucker for thinner bezels. So you decide if that's worth it to you. Then it has the action button as well. This is not worth switching over to. It will be more useful. It's not like a crazy new feature that you need to be worried about. The A17 Pro chip is really cool. It will have a lot better performance. One of the bigger visual differences and performance differences would be that third telephoto camera. This is really important if you need that extra zoom. If you are gonna use it, awesome. The cool thing with the 15, now is we do have the option to have an additional like camera by using the main camera and then cropping into that 24 to 12 megapixels for photos. It's almost harder than ever to choose between the 15 and the 15 Pro because the 15 camera system is really, really good coming from the 14 Pro last year. You'll also notice the 15 Pro has three more hours of battery life, but if you want more battery life, get six hours with the Plus and spend only $100 more instead of $200 more. One does have slower USB-C transfer speeds. USB-2 is not any different than the Lightning. It's the same transfer speed, really. If you want want to get faster on the Pro, you will have to buy an extra cable. So I don't see how buying the Pro will be really worth it unless you're going to get the extra cable, which is a lot more money. It is going to be 16 grams heavier on the Pro. We also have the second gen image stabilization, which is super, super good on the Pro. That's if you're in motion, you need smooth footage while you're running around. I'm not always taking photos in Pro Raw or filming in ProRes, but to have that control as a filmmaker, as a videographer, I love this. But for most consumers, they're not going to even use that because the file sizes are huge and you need to go actually edit the content afterwards. If you don't need those features, don't upgrade just to have the pro version. The 15 is going to be really, really good for you. Also, it comes with log profile, which is again, you're going to have to color grade your footage and that'd be silly to record it without the skills and the tools to actually then color grade it. So if you want to do that, cool. But if you don't even know what that means, then the 15 is for you. And it's also going to be $200 more. So you really get a lot of value in the 15 this year than we've ever seen before in an iPhone. Now looking at iPhone 13, 14, 15, if you're planning to upgrade to any of these and you're wondering how it stacks up, the 15 will have dynamic island, which does look cool. You're going to be able to flex that you have it, but the other ones still have really thin bezels too, and it's kind of out of the way. So it depends on what you want. It has the A16 Bionic chip, which isn't that much different than the older chips. It's going to have your advanced dual camera system. This is why I would consider upgrading. Whether you have these phones or older, that new advanced camera system is really, really good. Then we also have USB-C, which is not worth buying the new one just because of that, because you're still going to have lightning accessories. It does have a brighter display, which is really cool. All these displays are going to be bright and look really, really good. So even the 13 or 14 would be good for that. And then we also have the different colors. So up to $200 
more just for a new color, just because it has USB-C, just because it has an Amic Island, that's not worth it. But if you are looking at the camera system, I would highly recommend the iPhone 15. Now for iPhone 13 Pro, 14 Pro, and 15 Pro, the new one does have titanium, but it's just the frame, and I don't think it's gonna be less fingerprinty than the stainless steel, so that's kind of a negligible change. We also have the action button, is more useful, but not worth the upgrade necessarily. Thinner bezels is cool, and I'm kind of addicted to those. The other ones are still thinner, like 14 Pro is super thin, 13 Pro is super thin, compared to all the other iPhones. We have the A17 Pro chip, which will be faster than the 16 Bionic and the 15 Bionic, but these are all very capable, very fast chips. A ton of a camera improvements. Every single year, it just gets better and better. If you use your phone a lot to create content and you want the best of the best, of course, the 15 Pro will have that. You're gonna have USB-C with USB 3 support. If you're transferring footage and you buy the special cable, this will be a welcome upgrade. But other than that, we're still gonna have lightning accessories. You're not gonna be transitioning everything over to USB-C unless literally everything you own is already USB-C. 19 grams lighter, which is really, really cool. That's a nice upgrade. The 13 and 14 are about the same weight. The biggest thing, especially for content creators, will be the ProRes 4K at 60 frames per second. This is really nice for slow motion. They also have the log profile. So if you're trying to have ultimate customization, doing slow-mo, making sure that everything looks as good as it could on an iPhone, you're gonna love the 15 Pro. The 14 Pro also has really great cameras and so does the 13 Pro. So it just depends on what your needs are. So which iPhone should you buy? If you're a standard iPhone user and you have an iPhone 12 or older, I'd highly recommend the iPhone 15. The reason why is you're gonna have a ton of new features, bump specs and performance increase. That advanced camera system is amazing. So basically you're gonna get the most new features for the price and you're gonna be able to flex that you have dynamic island and new colors but it really should be for that advanced dual camera system that you're upgrading for now if you're a pro user and you have an iphone 12 pro or older i'd actually recommend the 14 pro unless you're addicted to titanium and thinner bezels or you really want pro res 4k at 60 FPS with the log profile, the 14 Pro still has a ton of awesome new features that you'll appreciate and you're gonna be able to buy it for a lower price than the 15 Pro is right now. For those with an iPhone 13 or 13 Pro and newer, I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna to have to decide what matters the most to you. Personally, if my wife didn't want to upgrade from her iPhone 11 and the fact that I make tech review videos, I wouldn't be upgrading to the 15 Pro. But if you do want to see the unboxing, full review, and the real world comparisons, subscribe so you don't miss those videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.